Lucifer, also known as the Dragon, or Dagon, has two kingdoms. One in the lower fourth dimension in the stellar stars of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, when our planet is aligned with the Draconian star system. Ursa means light. This is his kingdom above, also known as Behemoth. It is described as the fowl of the air in Genesis 1 and 28. And the second kingdom is below. It is on the third dimension. It is called Leviathan. Leviathan is symbolized as the fish of the sea, also in Genesis 1 and 28. Lucifer and the fallen angels ruled in the Dark Ages, which last 6,480 years. We also refer to this time period as the Iron Age. The Dark Age consists of Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. Each age, 2,160 years, when combined is 6,480 years. This time of darkness and negation ends at the beginning of the age of Aquarius, the water bearer, the man with the pitcher of water. Luke 22 and 10, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. Aquarius, the water bearer age, began January 1st, year 2000. In the complete period of the Dark Age, the fallen hierarchy is given permission to rule in order to test the souls of men and women. How else can men and women ascend to higher heavens as celestial beings with celestial bodies in our Father's many mansions? How can a spirit be given power to create as an orphanim if not tested and tried on this school ground we call earth? Those who govern the power upon the earth are those who have fallen from the higher heavens and are now indwelled in the stars, known by earthmen as Ursa Major. From this threshold gate they control one of the major entrance points into our local system from the higher heavens. Controlled by the fallen hierarchies inhabiting the regions of Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Polaris, and Thuban, these realms contain beings in imperfect bodies of light who use their power to establish themselves as gods in the lower realms. Keys of Enoch 106, the Big Dipper, which is behemoth on the lower fourth, stands as the threshold that must be overcome by man on this planet before he will be free of the consciousness image of the bear which emanates thought forms of war and destruction. The lords of Mizar and Megrez have sent out these thought forms to keep mankind on this planet continually involved in war and revolution. Mizar and Megrez are in Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, or the Bear Constellation. Remember, the upper fourth dimension and the lower fourth dimension are symbolized by mountain and hills in the scriptures. The mountain top, a symbol of the higher planes. The upper fourth is the mountain, the lower fourth the hill. And you might think there is no reference to this or Mizar in the scriptures, but again you're wrong. Psalms 42 and 6. O oh my God, my soul is cast down, had been cut off within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites from the hill of Mizar. So what the keys of Enoch is describing is pure light energy being diverted from the higher dimensions, then corrupted, sent down to us, invading man and woman's mind. Ever wonder where those deep, dark thoughts come from? They pop up. You are not even in that train of thought. Behemoth works from within. The authorized version, 1872. Look at Satan working within thee by behemoth. Look at Satan assailing thee from without. Can thou grapple with that ghostly leviathan? The light stream from the upper fourth or the higher heavens is captured by the fallen in the lower fourth dimension, where they capture pure light and send it down to the third dimension. It then becomes disharmonized electromagnetic, a reduced version of light. Genesis 1 and 28. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, leviathan and over the fowl of the air, behemoth. Fourth book of Ezra. Then you kept in existence two living creatures. The name of one you call behemoth, which is the Big Dipper, Ursa Major, the lower fourth dimension. And the name of the other is Leviathan, the serpent, the dragon on the third dimension. Appendix the third Enoch, the tree of life, by it Adam was formed. The cattle and the beast of the field, the birds of heaven and the fish of the sea, behemoth and Leviathan and the unclean creatures. Notice the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea is synonymous with being unclean. Behemoth is referred to as the fowl of the air. I know most of you through indoctrination can't see or do not want to see how this may apply because it might shatter the falsehood you have built on the foundation of lies and deception given to you by the same behemoth and leviathan through indoctrination from his helpers. So I will prove it with the references and the arts. The foul, F-O-U-L, and the foul, F-O-W-L. This play on words, using alliteration to cover up the deeper sod. 
First, the Bible is not a Christian book, but a book of the Hebrews, the true Hebrews. So I will use the Hebrew alphabet to give you a better understanding. There is no W in the Hebrew alphabet. The sixth letter in the Hebrew alphabet is Vav. When you combine two Vavs, you get the 18th letter, Sadi. Vav bears the sound of V, O, and U. They put two Vs together to make W, which is also the same as using two Us to make a W, because Vav also makes the U sound. When reading this particular file, the one with a W, the initiate knows to remove the V that makes the W and knows that the last V will make the sound of a U. Now you get the foul, F-O-U-L, and get the correct esoteric meaning, which connect you with the true revelation of the unclean creatures in the lower fourth dimension. Webster, the word foul, noxious, offensive, filthy, dirty, not clean, impure. Smith's Bible Dictionary. The expression birds or foul of the air denotes the lower heavens. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Spirits in aerial regions, orders of the evil angels, a brief consideration of the ranks or orders of the evil angels. Our contest is not with flesh and blood, but with principalities, with powers, the rulers of this darkness, evil spirits in aerial regions. I repeat, aerial regions. The rulers of this darkness means evil spirits who influence wicked men, called darkness here. Paul plainly means to say that the contest is of a most difficult nature because it is carried on with even the higher ranks of evil spirits, and these two as having more power and being less liable to harm from us, because they belong to those which dwell in the regions of the air. Satan is spoken of as the prince of the aerial hosts. As we know, Satan is not the same as Lucifer. Satan is the evil thoughts in the minds of men and women carried out, streaming from Lucifer, its origin, behemoth, and the foul creatures. So the Hebrew initiate used W, U, and alliteration to create the same sound with two different meanings. One is exoteric, as a bird, which many of you thought were for you to subdue by eating the common chicken or birds, which is the literal meaning for the common reader. The esoteric, F-O-U-L, which describes the unclean, red in vibration of behemoth. I said red to make the parallel of the red horse in Revelation 6 and 4, where the red horse took peace away from the earth, America, which is the seed of the beast, and making himself God of war. Now I say red again to connect with Revelations 12 and 3. A wonder in heaven appeared with a great dragon. That is behemoth, which set up the European Union and the United Nations by the seven great nations of this planet. Revelation 6 and 4, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Revelation 12 and 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. Seal portion chapter 6, And Lucifer I have cast into this world to tempt Michael and Seraphia, as the law requireth. Yet I would that you know that Lucifer knoweth the eternal laws of heaven, and he must abide by them. Seal portion chapter 8, those spirits who followed Lucifer and were cast out from the presence of the Father, these were cast out of the kingdom of God and confined to the earth. But you must understand, as the dark ages had a beginning, it must come to an end, and the end is now. Jeremiah 13 and 18, Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, your principalities shall come down, even the crown of your glory. Ah, we fight and we wrestle for most of our lives, not with flesh and blood, but with the imperfect light which we cannot see. Ephesians 6 and 12, For we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Appendix of Third Enoch, And the tree of life by Adam was formed, the cattle and the beast of the field, the birds of heaven and the fish of the sea, behemoth and leviathan, the unclean creatures and the reptiles. And the what? You heard right, the reptiles. Micah chapter 3, Who hate the good and love the evil? Who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones? Who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off them, and break their bones, and chop them into pieces, as for pot, and as for flesh within their own pots? These beings are the origin and the purpose of the child and the human trafficking. Emerald Tablets, Tablet 8, Key of Mysteries. 
In the form of men moved they amongst us, but only to sight were they as our men. Serpent headed when the glamour was lifted, but appearing to men as men among men. Crept they into the councils, taking form that were like unto men. Slain by their arts, the chiefs of kingdoms, taking their form and ruling over man. Only by magic could they be discovered. Only by sound could their faces be seen. Sought they from the kingdom of the shadows to destroy man and rule in his place. Most of the rulers you see today are the filthy lizards. It doesn't prefer black or white. It takes the place or inhabits the vessel of whatever race is in power. Emerald tablets. Yet beware, the serpent still liveth in a place that is open at times to the world. Unseen they walk among thee, in places where the rites have been said. Again, as time passes onward, they shall make the semblance of men.